let's do this. You hear that? Hey guys, this is Carl the Great of Amazing Wizard Studios. This is season one, episode six of Let's Play Beam and G Drive on the PC. We lowered. I lowered the, the volume of my mic. Now it's time to demonstrate the importance of grip. Yeah, grip demonstration. Some grip demonstrations. Like first, we'll go to the drag strip in the West Coast. Like you're gonna edit the UI apps and add the zero to one hundred timer up here. Like by the way. going to be dis disabled as a 0 to 100 clock per hour timer by default, but, but to do this you just have to go into options, user interface, change it to metric, Exit the up uh, menu. You go back into the menu. Go back into options and use interface and hit it back to Imperial. Now this is the first grip demonstration. Yeah, this is used to sixty runs. So we'll compare them from the drag strip from a, a flat street. First, we'll be getting a, a manual with my real drive car. Let's try out the. Blackwell Moon Hawk for for the V8 special. Yeah, it has a special bunch for a cubic inch V8 with increased power and twenty four barrel carburetors as well as special integrated composite bumpers. Yeah, it claims to have about three hundred horsepower and almost five hundred pound feet of torque. With a zero sixty time of just over seven seconds, but we can but you can do better than this. As far now for this one, we have we have the realistic gearbox behavior as the default. We have the default gearbox behavior set to realistic. Then we also disable gearbox safety system, clutch assistant, throttle assistant, oversteer reduction assistant, understeer reduction assistant, slow steering at high speed, limit steering at high speed, hold steering at low speed. We also have the vehicles are set to be running by default when and and vehicle engine brakes brakes are preheated when when the 
when when we start. Not this, not the, not this gonna be the best of three runs. Take into account the best one. Alright, so they have the, the vehicle line up the drag strip. Now I have to make sure we launch at Atna RPMs. Now, according to a YouTuber by MPG Omatic, who goes by MPG Omatic, like, if we don't launch at enough RPMs, then your acceleration times won't be as good as they should be. In this case, that's what he said when. He did a, a video showing a couple of 060 runs on the 2013 Mitsubishi Lance Evolution 10 MR with the 6 speed French clutch transmission. Now, a link to that video is in the description of this one. I think that's the word he mentioned for this video. Alright, after I do, let's do the 306 minutes. This is the first run. Launch about 3000 RPM. 3, 2, 1, go. We got 4.5 seconds. Yeah, up here's the run, the tears three play. Yeah, we're going to put it, show the, the, the instrument panel over here. Like yeah, by the way, the zero, the zero to one hundred timer is in the link of this video to give credit to the author of this of that mod, since it's a mod. Yeah. If if you use anyone else's mods in your BMG Dragon PVS, then you should put links to those mods in the description of the, of the videos. To give proper credit. Here, that was the first year the 60 run. Now, here's the second. Let's launch at about 4000 RPM this time. 3, 2, 1, go. Got 4.4 seconds. Here's, here it is. Alright, now here's the last one. Let's try launching at around red line. Two, three, two, one. We got 4.4 seconds.
latitude 60 times are shown are according to the UI 100 timer UI app. You have a timer with a view editing software, then it, it might read differently. Think, yes, I'm sorry if it, it displays different times. Now let's try a manual front wheel drive car. Okay, let's try the Ibis through COVID 2.0 GTZ. This has a different suspension, special larger engine, wheels and ty tires, as well as dedicated visuals. This uh, produces about 150 horsepower, 140 pound feet of torque. Let's do this. Alright, here's the first Zuda 60 run. Let's launch about 4000 RPM. 3, 2, 1. You got 5.6 seconds. That's the first run. Now here's the second run. Let's see if we can get it better than that. That's launch about 5,000 RPM this time. Yeah, that's 5.8. This is a couple of tenths, sec tenths of a second worse than, this, than, the, than the first run. Nice to turn last one, hopefully you can make this one the best. Nope, it's okay. All of them are under six seconds. Oops. Now let's get a manual all wheel drive car. Which one though? Let's tr try the. The ETK i series 2100 TIX TT Sport with all will well, that is the face of the sport model. Let's, let's try that the, the 2400 TIX TT Sport Evolution.
Yeah, it's just a race transmission. It was a factor when that comes on the end. Yes, it's a race transmission. All right, look at that cluster. That's a wrist bar. Look. Yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's do the, the first year of the six year run. Yeah, because now, because now here's before we start. We have to keep in mind that because this is all we know, we have to launch on higher RPMs than we did with the rear, the rear wheel drive with the Buckle Moonhawk and the Bishop Covet. Let's do this. Alright, here's the first run. That was just over 4 seconds. Look at that boost gauge down there. That was the first run. It's the second run. Once again, that was just over four seconds. Alright, here's the third and last one. Hopefully, I can make this one even better than the other two. Watch it run through it, and this time, three, two, one. Yeah, it's 4.2 seconds. The others were 4.3s. Those are good runs, yeah. Now let's let's see let's take those cars to to the freeway to, to compare the differences. Never at the highway. Now first let's try the Buckle Moon Hawk we tried earlier. Which is this one. Alright, again, this is going to be the best of three runs.
Actually, you know what? Let's, let's, let's go to the to the Italian airport and into those runs there. You're gonna be at the runway. Now first let's get the Brocco Moon Hawk that we tried earlier. Now once again we're gonna do the same series six runs with three cars again. And once and once again we'll be doing the best of the red stuff for this one. We, yeah for this one we got just the best time with the drag trip which is uh, was under four and a half seconds. Let's build. how will this one do here at the runway? Let's find out. Here's the first one. I wish to start low up here because of the last uh, lack of grip, action, bring it up, like yeah, you can see all this wheels here. You got under 7 seconds. Yeah, no, that was uh, more than two seconds worse. Alright, it's just the second run. This time let's launch a low RPM. Yeah, second, that was under seven seconds. This is going to be the turn last run. Let's see if we can make it better. Go under six and a half seconds. Yes, pause. Hear this? Let's try the 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 cup the visual covid again. This one. Here's the first one. Let's launch about under four thousand RPM this time. Remember for the first one the best time we got was under six seconds. Now let's do this. You hear that? Second gear trip. You got seven seconds flat.
the first one, see if we can get better than this. Yeah, we stalled. Let's try this again. Start again. It's the second one if we don't start this time. Let's try this again. This is the second run. We go under seven seconds. A second worse so far. Now, here's the third last one for this with this one. Got under seven seconds again. Let's push DTKI series, then let's get this one. Yeah, for this, let's do this. We got just over 3, 4 seconds. Holy cow, did we do still do well even with less traction? I think we know that. I think we know the answer. Yeah, that was just over four seconds. Three, two, one. Battery. Alright, here's the last run. Yeah, 4.1 seconds. Like, yeah, I believe it's because of our wheel drive. Alright, so here's the replay for the 060 run.
pretty good. But yeah, and the other two requires like, like the, the lack of grip hurt the zero to sixty times. If it was already if it's another mod, it would at least want her as much. Let's go on the rally track at Not here, the rally track. <laughs> Let's get the manual front wheel. The manual cars again, though. Let's get the Bishu BX series now. And the rally course does compare to rally course does get the the Chevrolet Tograd Amateur Rally Gravel, which is front wheel drive. Let's use the. Alright, let's actually let's try the Bishu BX series first. The rally card. Yeah, which pad are we gonna go around? Let's go around the whole course. Let's do it three. Okay, let's do it at sunrise, at sunset, and at night. The here's the 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 daytime run. Okay, let's enable two step. Let's do this. Yeah, this is a bunch of fashion too. This is the real drive. Yeah, they can't even badly crush the view of any... ...of any drivetrain, although... ...the level drive is most commonly used in rallies. Yeah, we had quite some oversteer, so that's why we were, we were sliding around.
the the all right that the run Traction. And they're just popping up our tires. Do the night time run.
Try the, the from a drive rally car. Let's try the Chevy or Tokrak rally car. Just this one. Let's put, use two step, of course. Let's make it daytime again. Sorry. <laughs> Here it is, three, two, one.
crest, obviously. So this car is done for now. Let's try try an auto drive rally car. Let's get the Let's 
the here get either the Hiroshi send first or the or the bit this first generation fish festima let's get this one yeah, it's cool with the spotlights. Okay, here's the first run. That was too fast for us to go. Make sure you don't go too fast. She so went way too fast, and then so we end up having a big crash. Now we're doing better because we slowed down that first turn, and I'm going too fast right now. Now we're the volume this my. Yep. yep. It went off the track. First run done successfully. Yep. Now let's make it evening time and turn on the headlights, but not too too much, too bright.
was messed up. this again but actually let's move on to the night time run to have even the spotlights on let's do this yeah see like with but all wheel drive we were able to recover from sticky situations Quite well. Even more so than we did with the real drive terminal drive cars. Like with real drive, we, we had lost traction spun out. There's a lot of it. In terms of drive, like it was going to do recovered as well. By the way, we did have a nasty real just now, but at least. Watch the replay. Let's put it under relative cam so we can show the instrument panel. Here it is. the nasty row.
Like, yeah. It's just the nighttime run, like. Try some more demos, I think. Let's head to the Hiroshi Raceway. Or to the DK Driver Experience Center. Let's go to the north area. That's the importance of, tra of traction. Now, first, let's get a, a rear wheel drive car. Let's get the Ibishu. Pass my second generation, the G Sport GTZ model. As you can see, it's like we're just showing and point this in slipping conditions. Like, this is water. Let's try this again. See, like, like how the water affected our, our ability to steer. So it created more understeer. Here's the replay. This is front wheel drive. Let's get a rear wheel drive car. In case the get the. Local Bastion with the base model. Turn off electron, leave electronics, leave the control on. I actually turn it off to, with this demo. See how the waters make this spin out. Here's the spin out in the replay. Here's the whole replay. Let's try an R-wheel drive car. Let's get the Buckle Legrand Sport SEV6 R-wheel drive facelift model. Does better job than even the front wheel drive customer. Like yeah, the all-wheel drive does makes it does make a difference.
Alright, let's take this to the next level over here. We're gonna make it nighttime uh, once again. No? Yes, we're go yeah, we're gonna go to, to this puddle of water. Yeah, first up, that we should pass them by GCC second gen. This is the, the special one. You're trying, so I just couldn't do it quite as well. Now here's the replay. First gear. Do you guys second gear share? Let's try this with with a real drive card. Let's see. We're gonna try the the Buckle Bastion. Here we go. Go. As you can see, I'm starting already. We're trying to control it. of the we lost traction. Oh, yeah. That was fun. Let's try the an all wheel drive buckle the grand. This one. I'm not sure. I mean, not, probably not, not as powerful as either one, but I know for sure this is gonna do well. You're like, yeah, here we go. Launch at good, ma good, ma good enough, enough RPMs. Go. Of going, we're still able to go pretty fast. So we pull it up with no problem. Let's try it again. This time we're going to two for the whole time. Yeah, that was pretty good. See, that was that inventive all wheel drive right here. Pretty good. And oops. Sorry about that. All right, this wraps the season one, episode six of Let's Play Beam and G Drive on the PC. Don't forget to like this video, hit the subscribe button, and comment for future content. Also, forget to follow me on social media. Make sure you hit notification beside you be notified when I post the videos. This is Carl the Great of Amazing Wizards who's hang out. Peace.